How do you want to be remembered? Once, an old lady told me a story about her life. Her family and her town were devastated after the revolution. At the age of 20, she went to the capital, running from the extreme poverty they were living. She arrived with nothing, and she had to figure out how she's gonna do it, but she did it. That young woman was the impulse that her whole family needed. Cousins, aunts, sisters, and brothers, they all followed with her to the capital looking for a better life quality, and they got it. The whole family went ahead thanks to that young, brave woman. The old lady who told me the story, the same young woman from the story, was my grandma. She used to tell me all her life stories. Although I had already, already heard them thousands of times, actually, they were never boring. As many times she repeated the same story, it was still fascinating as the first time she told it. We all hear stories every day from our family, friends, teachers, or strangers. But when they came from someone we love, they are amazing. My grandma passed away the last year. One of the most interesting people I have ever known was gone. But her story stayed here with us. And at this point, a quote comes to my mind. But how could you live and have no stories to tell? And this is it. It's about the stories that made us and how they will define us for the rest of our lives. One month after my granny's death, I went camping with one of my best friends. We were walking around the woods talking about life. And you know, I still had that feeling of loss and the necessity to talk to someone about that. And naturally, we started to speak about our grandparents. She told me her grandparents story. It's amazing life and adventures. And I told her my granny's story. After telling that, a silence invented the conversation. And I clearly remember that I said, you know, she was, she was interesting. At this point, I think that's one of the deepest things I have ever said about someone. It's hard to say how I felt after I said that, but I can tell you that I felt like if something lighted me up, like if so many answers were shown to myself after that came out from my mouth, and I started to reflect. During our lives, we meet all kinds of people. We meet smart people, nice people, funny people. Sometimes we meet someone who we cannot see ever more again. But it's weird when we meet someone who is interesting. Someone who we can hear him or her speaking for hours, and we will be attentive to every single word that came out from his or from her mouth. These kind of people, interesting people, they are not like an encyclopedia. They don't know everything on this world, but the things they knew, all the stories they had, they share them with the world. That afternoon on the mountains, after saying something I didn't think, after saying something that just came out from, from nowhere, to be honest, <laughs> I realized what I wanted to do with my life. My new biggest personal goal. Be interesting. The fact I consider it the most important between stories and interesting people and the main reason they go hand by hand is because most of, most of the times they are unforgettable. Somehow they stay forever inside people's memories and hearts. And you know, that's one of the most human and amazing achievements someone can ever do. Because at the times they are no longer here with us, actually, they stay forever. And that's just simply beautiful. At the moment, we listen and tell the stories to the world. We share personalities, actions, essences, humanity. I assure you that when you tell to someone else your story, he or she will tell it to someone more. And then a great chain will be formed. A chain made of emotions and teachings that only a story can live. And this is the way we will live forever inside. We will live forever in people's memories and hearts. People who we indirectly help, or at least people who we left them something to think about. Songs, movie, poetry, legends, books, and more. They all are sto stories someone ever told. And when they watch them, read them, hear them, the way the story was told. They make us feel like if we are the ones who are living the story. 
we feel identified with them. Even stories can be can be the answer to many troubles or questions we have. And that's why stories are one of the most human actions. They pass from generation to generation. They become eternal. After my gran after my granny died, I realized which was her most important teaching she left me. And I will show it to you. One of the best things we can leave to our loved ones and to the world are the stories that made us interesting people. We are the stories we tell. And that lesson came from someone who was already dead at the time she taught me that. Such as the interesting woman she was. So, I'm going to leave you with, with one last question. How do you want to be remembered? Thank you.